Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of the Soul Nigerian Podcast. Yes, sir. And today we have an interesting guest with you. We have come here to inspire young women. So we brought Nigeria's first, first professional firstborn daughter. How are Clap, clap, clap. Celeb. Celeb, celeb. She's not only a professional Why first, you, I know. She's no. not only a professional first daughter. She's still content writer, script writer, photographer, digital marketing I, specialist, I, advertising. She did look. She did look. You're not a photographer. She's you on my CV. <laughs> Storyteller. Don't worry. We've done our research. We've done our research. Thank you, sir. That's why we are here to ask you why you attack class bonds. We are in the middle of two today. So we have we've come. We have ganged up against you. I'm here to advocate for your bond. You don't you don't like me? I don't like you. You are a last bond. Do you know that? Just the concept of last bonds just means that. You just came to this life to enjoy. No. Like, they just, they gave birth to people to just work for you. Yeah, no, that's why they gave birth to you, to so your plus bonds. <laughs> don't, you, don't you like it? I don't and There's like a reason. No, don't they... you like it? God has blessed you, so you are supposed to bless the rest of us. Bless now. which rest? I Everybody don't... should collect their blessing by no. themselves. So it's not the same way I came it, from it that you came from. It's the top. It's the top one. There's a reason they gave birth to you first. You, especially to help, you. To help, to help people that especially come after. Especially you. Please, please, <laughs> especially please, you. Please, please, please. please so, so, I mean, you don't like me the first one, Doctor? I don't. What, what What do you mean I've been saying? What do you think I've been saying? It's not no, the thing. I no. don't like the being a first daughter. You like it, do you understand? The thing is, secretly, you want to be a last one. Hey, now, Jelosi, no, you no, talk about You don't understand. <laughs> I even, it's not even secretly. I you want, but it's just that I know fit. That's mm. the point. And you last ones, you, you come into the room with such, <laughs> like, such audacity. audacity. I understand. But I'm not like Such them, audacity. So. I'm not like them. Bro, it's obvious that it's our okay. first this question is, are you a last one? <laughs> exactly. I, actually, that's why I was... They look like last one. You be last one. <laughs> oh, gosh. Last one. So no, you gotta, I don't like the last one PR, Richard. Like, you guys always give us bad PR. Oh, like gosh. Because we try Dave our best. Dave know which one is worse. The men or the... Because I currently... My last one is a boy. <laughs> so I can't even imagine how it must be if the last one is a girl. Ha! No, no worries. Blissful. So life, life is should be the last one. But before we go on, make sure you are subscribed on YouTube, on Spotify. Make sure you listen and comment. Drop your two take two cents. And as we as we all know, Awa is here as the Nigerian first professional firstborn daughter to inspire younger women. As you know, as so Nigerian, we always come with we always come with every razzle dazzle. I mean, I mean, oh, we are in, we are we are in we are in great. We're no, we're in the presence of greatness. In the presence of greatness. It's because you. The, the gods know that you are washing me. That's why. <laughs> that's why you're stammering. We are honored to have. Our, to be. Our climb seven mountains, eight seas to get here today. That one is true. <laughs> that one is correct. Listen, if if, if Mohammed cannot go to the mountain, ah, the mountain will come to Mohammed. My village will try to stop it. I say no. No, you have to be. We have to be. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> well, yeah, before we go on, we had an episode on how we, you know, Nigerian politician kids, you know, nepo babies, how we are misjudged SDP. and. I can't leave my what's the, wait, what's the you know when you say PDP part of people what's the people's slogan SDP SDP for the people <laughs> God SDP can I leave my father's political party in no, I'm just I, like so what's the update now is it running see first? election is coming now it's just start you know no no see no. for people like them Sinibu Peter Obi they can start election today and they will win no no for no people like your daddy now they can't start election <laughs> <laughs> Four years before, they have to start a complaint. So we are going to be go go. Next presidency, we'll be like Tinubu and Shiki Tinubu. So, so, uh, <laughs> well, like, if I, your I, daddy wins, I'll drive you like, like mad. I'm, no, no, I'm going to be at the forefront Please of don't drag him. I say, that's if I know him now. <laughs> no, you have yeah, my, my campaign. Ah, you go write storytelling for my pop C. You write my father's script, you understand? Ah, Before you I start thinking, I'll let people know your father's party face. Before <laughs> you start dreaming about it. <laughs> well, you guys, thanks to Spotify Studios. You are live on Spotify Studios, by the way. So, like, somebody said, I like the point that Isaac made, where, where he asked, would you be corrupt? Would you be a corrupt politician like your father or a good one? The children inevitably be corrupt because they were enjoying their parents' corruption. Yeah, and they want if to they decide it. to become good politicians, they will not be enjoying the luxuries they had from their corrupt parents. I have a question for you. Mm. If your daddy was a corrupt politician, mm. would you be a corrupt or a good politician as well? No, there's no this thing now. 
if if my father was a corrupt politician mm. and I they see the money, the money mm. they enter, they enter, they enter. You go continue the legacy. How how I go? <laughs> How I go do? How I go do the right thing? <laughs> you know, I don't talk you know, to them. No, no, you don't understand. It's almost like you have to, mm. you have to denounce that life. You have to say, "Oh, daddy, I'm not in support. Mm. I'm not in support of what you are doing. What will daddy do? Daddy will cut you off." If your dad does After something, daddy, daddy cuts you something off. bad, do you tell him that? Oh, daddy, no, I don't like what you're doing. If my dad does something if bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. you think my dad will sit me down and say, hey, so yes, what, what I think, did today, what, what, what is your about? opinion? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> He's giving me food, giving me shelter. <laughs> Let me open my mouth. I will sleep outside. So how are you going to tell him that? No, but remember? that's, so that's the thing. There are cons- like I just said, if I open my mouth, I'm going to sleep outside. There are consequences now. Mm-hmm. If you tell your, your father that, oh, you're a corrupt politician, he will tell you, oh, you think I'm corrupt. Okay, fine. That penthouse you're living in, Leave I'm it. not paying I'm it. You off. I'm cutting you off. No more trust So, uh, hey, that's when you cannot come out and say, oh, my father cut me off oh, because I was against yeah. his, like his values yeah. and all of that. Then you will not become one of us. But if you don't want to become one of us, you still want to live in your penthouse. If you're in that position, you want to become one of us. No, you don't understand. <laughs> Answer the question. Don't ask me that kind of stupid <laughs> question. But at least I'm not one of them. <laughs> I'm in the trenches. So now I can talk. That's my my point is that if you're a, if you're a rich kid, you're a Nepo baby, you're a politician's kid, enjoy your life. Enjoy your money mm. in your, and be silent about it. You yeah. can't, you can't, Eat your cake and have it. Yeah. You can't want to ride with us and then you are driving a Porsche tomorrow. No, you have to pick one. Either you come to the trenches with us or you stay where you are and you don't say a thing. And obviously, like nobody chooses what they like yeah. Yeah. the family to. that yeah. the families that they are born into. Like like me in our life. You didn't choose to be in SDP. I didn't choose. I, I didn't choose. <laughs> you should not be talking. If he's now in APC, we will not hear We'll not hear. We won't be doing podcasts now. We'll not be. We'll not hear. It's we'll so Canadian podcast. If, the way I came late for this podcast, you would all your soldiers, they would have just beaten me outside <laughs> my entire time. The first time um, um, helicopters come and pick you. Ha. Mm. Don't worry, don't worry. No, 2030, my, my dad and I are coming together. <laughs> Double package. Trisha, is the right age for Nigerian president by then? Maybe I'm not 70 something. If I don't be president, if I don't be that right, right. Oh, God, please don't kill me. Oh, yeah, moving on. Someone also said, um, in addition to what Awa said, actually, nice episode, I think politicians' kids need to develop a sense of social responsibility, start a foundation, NGO, and invest in a sector. Not everyone can be an entrepreneur or content creator. But with the wealth some of them have, we must invest back into the society visibly. Let me. Oh, sorry, I'm not. Finished. Yeah, yeah. Please, not, not, not expensive restaurants and clubs. Oh, that one, that one that almost <clears throat> average Nigerians can't afford. Why are you not starting as a politician? Yeah, let me not boast you. That NGO thing that the person said, they're actually politician kids that start NGOs and they use those NGOs to claim money. So mm. everything has a covert operation. Mm. I didn't really do. If if you are doing it with good intentions and yeah. everything, I will still drag you. <laughs> I will still drag you because it's my money you are giving no, back no to me. Like you are not <laughs> like you are telling do me, oh, I collected 15 million. Eh? Do you hate them? You are you are angry. No. Is there any problem? This... Bro, I was said, I was said is it that... video. Or audio? <laughs> Politician kids, that's the NGO. They are collecting <laughs> politics money. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, it's like you're collecting thing. the money from me. I'm telling you, I'm giving you back. Oh, say thank you. <laughs> Do you get that? Come cycle, on, though. come on. I, I, if you want to start, I mean, I'm giving you something. If you want to start all those kind of stuff, yeah. don't start it in your name. There are some, yeah. there are some things Be that a, don't, like, don't take, don't take credit for certain things. Yeah. Mm. You have the money, start it. So okay, this foundation, blah blah blah. Do, but how many, how many of them actually start stuff like I, that? I, I, People are really greedy. I can't yeah. say who I would be if I were in that situation because yeah. I'm also human. I like money like mad. You want bone. right? Do you get? I want to. Who does not want to wake up in Dubai tomorrow? You're in another part of the world. You have an island yeah. that you and your family. Mm-hmm. People go. To, do you get to get away from? Yeah. Who does not like that life? But it's just that you know deep down that ah, this money belongs to another person. And I say, yeah, I want to start it. So it's, it's, it's actually even really ironic because what the, all these NGOs, what they do is they basically cover up for what the government is not mm. providing. Do you understand? So use the money as the government 
to provide those things rather than put it on NGO and then provide those things. It exactly. doesn't make any sense. Yeah, just yeah. Going around, 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 around. Around. When I was living with my dad, I never hesitated to go against him anytime he does something shady. Hmm. I remember he once had an, had an altercation with a fellow motorist on our way somewhere. I didn't join him to talk to that person. No. In fact, I told him his own driving was rough. How you get mine, though? And you know how Africans that behave now gave me a dirty slap. <laughs> hmm. But I was happy I said the right thing. Okay. Well. <laughs> the children of the politicians are culpable as their parents. If they if they if they no call their parents to order. What do you guys think about that? About that? <laughs> First of all, of course your dad is going to give you a death slap. <laughs> because your dad is the one driving you. He's probably driving him somewhere. Else. Okay. You cannot have support me. <laughs> you are not you are not telling me that what I did is wrong. Me that I born you. My friend, I'll give it. This, this politician um argument is so funny because if I, I'll not go and tell my dad, oh, I don't like what you're doing. And my dad is not say, okay. Because my I'll, daughter I'll say she don't I'll, like what I'll stop happened. stealing money. I will stop stealing money. <laughs> of course, of course they cannot. I don't think you can only say, oh, daddy, this thing you're doing, you know, yeah. is bad, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> but before you know what's happening, you're on family vacation in Bahamas, you're forgotten about you're it. Forgotten about yeah. it so, you're forgotten about it. You're forgotten about it. Don't worry, don't worry. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. So moving on, <clears throat> I want to even ask you, like, what's your what's your thoughts on open relationships? Thank you very much for that question. Ah, hey, this is the way you cross she came, she came prepared. I even ruined my shoe. <laughs> she came prepared. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. You must be a bastard. <laughs> you must. You must be a bastard. <laughs> because. What's not to like about open relationships? You know, you know, when someone, when, except if, you people met and you, you people already know that oh this kind of um people that we are right yeah. so from the from the start it's already even open mm, you know mm. you have multiple partners blah yeah. blah blah but if we are together in a close relationship as in the door is tight short tight mm-hmm. somebody now comes and says oh i think you should open you know for more spice you should open up the relationship <laughs> That person that wants more spicy, it's not because it does not, it's not progressive. It's not because when he started the, with the relationship closed, he did not know that part. He now said, okay, let's open the relationship. When the, the relationship, they not open it. But relationships evolve. Okay. I'm not even arguing with <laughs> you. Not, see, it's evolved. Why Why is it not going, like, why are we not progressing together? Why is it that you want now? You have to open the relationship. Open the relationship and regress. Exactly. And I feel like it's always one person that just wants to explore that says, yeah. let's open the relationship. Mm. The other person is just like, okay, fine. Because, because I really it. love this person. I'll try it so that, you know, just to make our relation. But then, when things now start to happen, the person that did not want to open is not getting more offers. Things are now popping that for that person. Uh, uh, <laughs> you are not getting, you know, you know your, your phone is going bing, 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 bing. And your, said, the person that wanted it open is looking like, uh, what's I don't going have on? Nobody's texting what me. What's going on? Nobody's texting me. Now say we should close it. We're lying. Eh? We're not closing it. You know when you open the door and you... You hold it with something so that Breeze not mistakenly close it. We are never closing that relationship again. I want to see our customers like, like seeing like seeing our customers like seeing our new and our new business. She's seeing our offers like seeing yeah. that job. You see most my head. Pepe Peter's Peter's Victoria said, "Open relationship. I think it is the better and is the best because I can't go into a relationship that I will tell this is what I need." And what I need, and you can't do it. Besides, as a man, I can't be with one woman. I will tell you, it's not only you. I have, I have others because if I lie to you that I don't have other ones, I will feel uncomfortable in that relationship. Peter, I see your points. Peter, I will not see his points. <laughs> I will not see his points. Someone that says not one. This, this is a Nigerian saying this, this thing. So like, hey, it's, it's, it's it's normalizing. We need to progress and evolve with the society. Hey, why is the progression of open relationship? Because like there are so many, there are so many, there are so many aspects to relationship now. Who do open relationship and it works for them now? Where is the progression that some of us are going abroad, we are doing vacation together? Wow. These are different ways of Wait. making the relationship better. That person that say progress, he has not progressed in his life. You don't know what in your life. He don't have job. He said no. That's in this economy, you want to be carrying three bodies because of open relationship. There's an understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is all about understanding. Yeah, don't, don't worry, but once I'm popping. Better not close that relationship. <laughs> Leave it open. Let's open everything. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Don't worry. Is it to say no until when you're actually in that position of 
when your when your boyfriend or your husband starts suggesting. I know I asked you this question in the relationship. I mean, mm. in the, sorry, in the episode, okay. you say it here again. Yeah. If your partner should come and meet you and say, "Let's open this relationship," what would you? Yes, do that's true. She says, "You know what? I want to see other people." No, no, no. What's no. the first thing that will come to your mind? First things first. First thing that will come to my mind. Yeah. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So is that progressing? <laughs> No, no, no. Obviously, like that night, the way we, <laughs> it would be hard at it. Ah! Yeah, that is you could all day up like this. <laughs> Manifesto. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me show you what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Over me, yo, I personally like. I'm for open relationship, but I will not do open relationship personally. But I understand it. Do <laughs> you understand? And you know the thing is that it's not even open relationship. As let's open our relationship to more opportunities. Is is six? Is yes, it's quite us. No, 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 no. Like in Lecky now, I had I had to <laughs> in Lecky, you mm. have no head of anywhere mm. else. So there are different forms, you know. Like there's this one where they call couple orgies, you know, like all those are like, like different things that people are using to spice the relationship. The orgy, what are they? Are you using the orgies to get job? They are, are using to get it's networking events. <laughs> <laughs> it's networking events. Guys, guys, you guys, you networking events. I don't want. <laughs> yeah, what? Once we, once we, you know, once we finish, we wear suits. Let's <laughs> meet you. <laughs> really love what you did what, back then. What, what do you do again? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my card. <laughs> <laughs> All these people that are doing in flesh, happy. Look nice in a suit and out of a suit as well. Thank you. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All Ooh. right, now. All right, now. Just, just. I beg. I will ask you to stay. Ah, no, no, please. I beg. I beg. I beg. No, even. I'm just always. I'm just always wondering. Like, every time, I'm just seeing your content, seeing your videos. Because I remember on Twitter, I remember you're more so like you know a script writer. Mm. You know, more into writing, and then when did you? What made you actually transition into like doing videos? And how was it like? You know, just was it like living your comfort zone? Did yes. You know? Oh my God, it was actually like living my comfort zone. Mm. But I was like, ah, can you your patience? <laughs> yeah. As in, I was like, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, right? So I be old and still be writing. <laughs> so, but the reason I started out with writing was because it's my, like I said, it's my comfort zone. Mm. I love to write. I've always loved to write. Um, growing up, I used to have books of stories. I used to draw as well, so I'd, mm. I'd draw comics, um, write a whole story. I didn't put that one on you, so draw as well. Um, well, yes, my dad's an artist, so mm. I, yes, but I did nurture the stuff, I yeah. did nurture the talent, but I used to like to draw as well, so I'll draw, like I'll fill whole books with. Mm. In fact, I was even one point in primary school, they had to take away my drawing mm. book because it was, I would be drawing when, when they were teaching, but I've always loved stories. Um, so it was a no-brainer that I just started to write stories on Twitter, even on Instagram as well. Yeah. I just used to support them with memes and all of that. Um, and the first day I tried to do video, <laughs> 2017, <laughs> I opened my camera. Um, I closed it back up. How many, how many takes did you do? Just esti- I just saw it. myself on camera. I said, what is this? But, w- I said, no, it's not. Were there people that you were watching and you were like, oh, I can look. I can do this? So... If you notice the kind of content that I do now, I don't, I don't because all the people that I I used to see doing video content, yeah. they had characters. Yeah. Mm. But for my con for my content, I don't have characters. It's too. just me, um, which is which can be a good thing and a bad thing. Mm. Um, but I don't have characters. So <clears throat> when I was seeing other people, I'll be like, oh, this is really nice. I'd love to do this, but I can't become a character, a character. that is not me. Um, I think people are very talented when they jump from one character to the other. I find it so fascinating. But I was just like, this is not me. Mm. This is not... Maybe at some point, it could be me. But right yeah. now, it's not what I... So I just started telling the stories that I love to write. And mm. I think my first... One of my first videos where... Sorry, one of my first videos um, was one where I was talking about <laughs> going to the pharmacy to buy... A medication because I had cramps and yeah. all that. So it was just me telling my story, mm. but just sprinkling it with a little fiction and all of that because yeah. it really happened okay. to me. Yeah. Um, so I, I thought, okay, this this is nice. It's nice to talk to the camera, but it was really difficult for me to transition from writing mm. to starting to do videos. Even even us as podcasts, it was it was it was a lot for us to actually decide. Okay, want to actually transition to do video. 
As I have, really? I have like two pictures of my Instagram. I even like my face out there. Like, so it was a lot, but we just. Yeah, I, don't even know. I don't go back to watch. Really? I don't. I go back to watch audio, but like. Videos so like... as creatives, you know, like actually, like you as a writer, you really enjoyed writing. I actually enjoyed being behind the scene, but you know, obviously, you have to take the steps to like probably expand your creativity and all. Yeah. And something in addition to your story, or like just looking at everything that you have done and your creative self was the elephant in the room of like being a young Nigerian Muslim and you're very much embedded into your culture but yeah. still have that south that southwestern feel to it mm. and uh, to be honest I personally do not really know too much like Muslim women that actually like you know about the western creative space you know mm. so like how was it like for you just like you know have, have people asked you oh are you sure you just, have people asked you oh, remove the hijab all those kind of yeah. questions like yes um so there are a lot of questions in that mm. one question, but starting with the scarf that I use on my head, yes. Yeah. Um, so because I was behind the scenes for a while, nobody yeah. really knew yeah, what okay. I looked like and all of that. Um, and then when I started to do my videos, I still have one DM from one someone last week that was like, "Oh, I think you should remove your scarf. Like, why are you still why are you still wearing your scarf? You know, you are beyond this. You know, you are beyond religious ideologies. Blah blah." Oh, shock coin boy, I my dear, please, this is not even what's doing me right now. <laughs> you, you know, you, this is not even, even if you even want to advise me, at least use things that I can't even understand. Yeah, yeah. First of all, your advice is rubbish. I don't even know the English that you are writing. <laughs> you know, um, so yes, definitely, I have people like that. But mm. I try to, for my content, I try to take it so far away from religion. Yeah, sometimes, mm. of, of course, the fact that I'm a Muslim woman, I grew up a Muslim woman, means that yes it will seep into my content yeah. but i don't create religious content and mm-hmm. i do that for a reason because i like to respect religion yeah, not just my religion but religions yeah. as a whole so i try not to do that and uh, as for doing it as a young muslim girl yes definitely like do you know how many um content videos i've sent to my father that look at your daughter are you I, serious yes huh? like family yeah, members yeah no i i don't know who is sending them but They'll just send it to my Thank father. You. But my dad was my dad's a very chill guy. Mm. So as long as you don't dis- you don't disgrace him outside. Mm. Yeah. Like because he's an allergy. <laughs> but he's a yuppie boy as well. Yeah. So yeah. as long as you don't disgrace him outside, you don't say the wrong things, mm. you don't, you know, there's no there's no scandal out there. Yeah. You know, my father is pretty cool with the stuff that I'm doing, but a lot of it looks some so I I got one DM especially on Twitter yeah. where one girl was like oh I'm really glad that you're doing this for us Muslim girls um yeah. because growing up I didn't they were always like oh you know what you should be demure <laughs> you should be mindful <laughs> you know and my content is the opposite of demure yeah. I'm not demure I'm not mindful you know so I I'm just trying to show people out there that you can just be yourself yeah yeah you can just be yourself and i like the way in addition to you saying you you can't have a special character you have to be yourself so it's your character that you're using to yeah show and it's very inspiring even to me as a not to me as a i'm not a young muslim but But i mean as a creative as a creative as a whole do you understand that you know i was going to say like sorry um um the part where you talked about transitioning to um visual content Mm. Um, as a writer, I mean, you're already popping at that time. Um, that reminds me, you're a writer. <laughs> yeah, but I don't do, I do, I don't do like stories and all that now. But yeah, I'm a writer too. Um, you get comfort, you got comfortable in there. So, um, transitioning, I'm talking in, in that sort of, you know, there's a reason why your face was behind the scene yeah. when you were writing. Yeah. So how, how did you not find that comfort and okay, like. Like, was it difficult for you, for you to say, oh, I'm transitioning to visual and all that? Because I know that time on Twitter, like, everybody was like, oh, who is this face behind? Like, everybody yeah. wants to see it. So, like, yeah. how easy was it for you to see, oh, now people want to see my face? Like, was it very difficult? Okay, so it was not difficult. I mm. think it, it was just, I, I just felt like I had reached a stage where I would maxed out everything I could do with mm. my face behind mm. the camera. And also, they always, you know how as part of Aspire people will say, oh, <laughs> get out of your comfort zone. Oh, yeah. I hate that thing so much. But it was such a, it was such a real life example for mm. me because I was, I only started to, yes, I was popping before I came out with mm. my face, but 
it was almost like another it was on another level, level when okay. i started doing videos when i started talking to people also people like to see other people talk to them yeah um so it was it was scary at first because i was just like ah, i don't know and you know there are so many great content creators out there you know <laughs> we don't these are big big cameras they are Everything. you know production serious production no you know, and uh, here I am with my phone and my tripod. <laughs> and I just, I'm just like, ah, hello, my name is Awa. I've come to join you people. <laughs> how, 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 how were the reactions the first time you came up with your face? I think I remember on Twitter. I remember, I think I did. Because you, you, I remember I used to follow you when you used to like just write with the memes and all of that stuff. I think the first video you probably even posted on Twitter, I think you had a very good reception and it went, it blew. I think so. Uh, yes, because at that point, I think the reason why it blew is because people were very... You didn't even have... Your face was never in your AVI then. Yes, no, <laughs> I was completely anonymous. Mm. But it, it blew because... Okay, so this person has been doing this thing for so, so long, long yeah. behind the scenes. Now we get to see what the face is mm. like. Um, but it also has to do with consistency. It's not every video I put out that people like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So people have dragged me. They drag me every time, you know. Yeah. Me too, I, you know, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm prepared, really. Like, yes, you drag me, I will do another one tomorrow. <laughs> we are in this thing together until one of us gets out. Until somebody, you know. So I'm just always, yes. But, but I think that the reason that it did well was because I'd already been doing a lot of work behind the camera. Yeah. So when I came out, it was like, oh, okay, this is the person that is doing all of this. No, okay, please. so like, just in addition, yeah, in maintaining, maintaining your religious virtues, and um, you know, also being like a young Muslim woman, I'm bringing, I'm taking you back to that. Like, mm. I feel like your dad was actually very supportive because he said something about your dad. You know, people sending videos and all mm. of that stuff, and mm. he just told you, "Awa, hmm, Mark Obama, oh. <laughs> No, no, don't do family, anything. No, don't, family you come from. know your family name and all of that <laughs> stuff. So obviously, like, there's so many people that even pastors' kids, you know, that there's some situations where I had a trip. I'm a pastor. This guy. There's so many situations where there's so many situations where like you obviously have to know that you can't do some certain things because of yeah. upbringing, family upbringing, your family name and your religious virtues. So I just want to like know how supportive your dad and your family were throughout, like you know, all of that stuff. No, my father is not an okay man. No. <laughs> like, you, you know, yes. But the thing is that I think I even got my personality from my father mm. because my father would be calling me to tell me, oh, you know what? This is one content idea I have. Are you, Are you serious? serious? Yes. But no, that's I'll, cool. Man. Man, my <laughs> father, yeah, my father would be telling me, oh, this content idea, I think. Because my father is such a... <clears throat> it was... It's almost like my father was the loudest person in the room not mm. really the loudest person but he made people laugh i saw him making his friends laugh okay. i wanted to be that person that would make my mm. friends laugh as well so your dad your biggest inspiration so i you know i'm just realizing i think so <laughs> <laughs> i just realized that i think so one time my father was like you know what i but it's just that of course my father is not a it's mm. not a young person anymore. So he doesn't yeah. know what kind of stories fly. So my dad will like, <laughs> my dad will call me like, oh, yeah. oh, I have this content idea. You should do it. And I'm just like, oh, because, because you just know, <laughs> because it's just the dead end story. <laughs> but you just like, you just want, you're just so happy that someone is supporting your nonsense because I'm really doing nonsense. Because, one time, my father called me and he's like, oh, wow, I have this story when I was younger. Because my father grew up in Moshe. Yeah, they yeah. actually gave birth to me in Moshe as well. Yeah. So, my, you know, my father was like, oh, one time I was selling newspaper, you know, and there was this girl I liked, you know, and they had a dog in their house. <laughs> so, you know, a dog was chasing me and I'm just like, oh my God, this good cool story. Dog, so, like you know, you get, like, oh, how am I, where am I going to start? I'm actually this following story? the story. I'm actually feeling the story. I don't, <laughs> I stopped listening. I zoned out. No. I just zoned out because I'm just like... How was that he called us? We, I, we, we have the podcast. We have screens. <laughs> we have screens for that story. <laughs> we'll give you a time for talk on Oh my God. My dad is... It's, um, but, you know, but I just love the fact that he's so supportive. Mm. Um, also, I'm not a typical... So, w when, I, when I studied, because... When I when I was in school for my masters, I think I lived with like three guys uh, mm. in this oh, in the dogs. same. Yeah. In this, <laughs> I, I don't play with that. I don't play think with I, that. Think I'm not learned. 
You're an inspiration. Nigeria's first, first professional first born Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm going to do my because of you. Stop it. Stop it. Um, so so my dad is very very like he tr- so he trusts me enough to know that I won't um I won't what's the word I won't disgrace him I mm. won't disappoint him I won't drag our family name through the mud so even when I say stuff on Twitter and people are dragging me I, I never talk about oh my family all of that because even when I talk well, even when I talk about my dad it's just a funny thing like one time I tweeted that I was studying 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 at night yeah. in the middle of the night like I, I thought I was going to fail so I called my dad and I'm just like daddy I can't I can't read anymore you know <laughs> And blah, blah, blah. I can't do it anymore. And yeah. my father was like, hmm, just hmm. stand up. Go to the, like, go to the mall. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, my dad. Aww. Oh, you know, so I went to the mall. You know, he told me, pick out a dress. So I Are picked you sure? it out. Yes, I picked it out. I picked out the dress. And he's like, oh, how much is it? And so I told him the price. Let's just say, let's just pick a random figure. Let's say um, 15K. Yeah. I told him, oh, that is 15K. And he's like, so now. If you fail your exam, <laughs> you will not be able to buy that dress. Now put it back and Wait, go back. You know, which buy why what dress after it's paying school fees. Well, that is like, you know, buy what so, so. I was doing all oh, at the beginning of that thing. <laughs> so my dad, my dad, go. <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> so my dad and my, so my dad supports me. He knows that. So we have a relationship mm. that we know, okay, I know he won't embarrass me to, uh, you know, yeah. the guy. Nobody both of us. Else. Exactly. We don't follow us. Yeah. So, yeah, but he's very supportive. Mm. He's like really supportive. Just, just in addition to that, what, obviously it's, it's evident that your dad is very supportive. It's obvious, obvious that you have supportive friends and, you know, a good support system with you. But what if there's a younger person listening to this podcast now and their parents are not just very supportive, you know, mm. towards their passions and their dreams, you know? Especially mm. like being potentially maybe there's a young Muslim girl also listening to this podcast and just like saying, ah, look how supportive I was that is like oh. she understand. You are not just grace of God. Not just grace. Of, <laughs> not just grace. Because I can't tell you that you should not do what your parents yeah. want. But I think that there is a point that you get to where you start to make your own decisions for mm. yourself. I started out this content thing really late. These young people, they are up and popping. <laughs> up and grateful. I know if you do one. I do up and grateful. I won't die. Your, your it's never too late. That's one thing. Break. It's never too late for your dreams. Your bag will break. When I wake up in the morning, I have back pain. I don't know. I've never understood what back pain was. I experience it now. So, like, I just feel like there's some level that you get to. Like, you can't be in school now and say you don't want to you don't want to go to school anymore. You want to start singing. <laughs> you know, you want to start doing music. But that's his passion. And that's, that's yes, that's, that's your passion. But, you know, you have to see things to a certain point. Except if you can drop out of that school and hustle yourself by yourself. Mm. Because I finished everything I was doing. That's why I said I started this content in really yeah. late, right? Um, so... Uh, so, um, by the time that I wanted to go full-time with content, yeah. I told my father, me, I'm quitting my tech job. My father's like, why? I've never seen this kind of... Yes, I was working in tech. Oh, wow. um, and my father was like, why? Please, how about please? You are the first one. <laughs> you, can't, you can't be. You can't be you unemployed. Be you know, he was just like, how are you? You can't, you can't quit your job. <laughs> first. You can't. You can't. You just... You just you can't quit your job. When you last one, you, our last one day. When there is last one. <laughs> All three last ones you day for <laughs> Scoofy's day. I'm not saying you, you can't quit your job. You pay 370k hospital bills. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> so, um, so but, but but I knew at that point that, yeah. okay, you know what? And I was still living with my parents again. Mm. But I knew at that point that, okay, I don't really, not really enjoying this job. Yeah. You know, I want to do something different. So, I got it to that to point passion, where, yeah, I'd gotten to that point where I could tell them that even if they were not supportive at that point, it was, it, it, I, I was an adult. Yeah. Yeah. So it was my decision. I could, you know, if content had not worked out, it's me that was starving, not them that was starving. <laughs> right. So, but, so you have to make it work. Exactly. So but I had you still to make back it. To them, no? Exactly. Yeah. I was still run back to them, but it's what they gave me that. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. I quit my job. So to anybody out there that, you know, you don't have support and all of that. I think you need to definitely do what you believe is good for you, what you believe you are truly interested in. Mm. But you also have to know that it's hard out there and you have to do it on your own. And if you are not at the point where you can stand by yourself, mm. you might it might be better off for you to wait mm-hmm. a little bit by so that 
by the time you have the money to stand on your own, you'll be able to do what you yeah. want to do. But regardless, but when you get to the point where you have the money to do what you want to do, and they're still not supporting you, more, but I can't do it. It's your life. So it just reminds me of the dilemma that somebody sent to our email. It was so long. That's I'm just going to give you a summary. Summary is that it's, it's currently like 400 level or 500 level, studying quantity surveyor. <laughs> and and he, he does music on the side, he's a producer. And I think one summer he got like a big break, did for some Abu Dhabi record label. I think they even signed him. He said the he's even tattooed the <laughs> record <laughs> label. <laughs> Just like it felt like yeah. the world was at his feet at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? So I think they didn't approve the music or they didn't you know, end up all of that stuff. Are you serious? And now like, but he's still going hard at it. Do you understand? Like. Even had, he even mentioned that I, I, I featured on Jiggy's album. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to yeah. and I, I'm an artist. Yes, so, an artist. I, I also. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he told me that oh, when he listened that, you know, it was just kind of like an inspiration for him to like continue doing everything he wants to do. But like where he's just scared is how to communicate to his parents that, okay, well, mommy, daddy, I, do, I don't really want to do this quantity so your thing. <laughs> but like... <laughs> I'll I'll really communicate in that aspect, and it's just scared that experience will be as supportive to his dreams of like actually making music, and he he, he knows that it's good, he knows that of the quality of his job, so like how are you going up a person? Ha, oh because my. it's addition to yours of about your yeah. parents. Oh, you. ma, that one was fictional. This one is real life, <laughs> and that's consists consists of your work. <laughs> the way they used to carry all those their equipment, the boy is probably like can't go go she. I need, to, I, need to, I need to be out of here. Ah, but we have to ask, why didn't they upload this music? See, I mean, this guy is not that. It's producer now, maybe the artist. So he kept people and they let him tattoo their artist. I know, I know, I know, I know where she gets it. I know where she gets it. You know, no more. No more. No, but maybe What's your advice? This is what you need to do, Omo. Omo. Better give you advice, we go, we go, go well. Do. You want to listen to his music first? You know what? Use this to send us your music. <laughs> send yeah, us your send music. us your music yeah. before we before yeah, I tell yeah. you. Maybe we should just stay in that context of every measure in land. But, but let me let me some, say something real quick. Um, I think that he's in five hundred level. I think he's already at the last. Yeah, yeah I don't so think he should, should just finish up. Do you understand? Finish up. I want our was late. Our was late because yes. there are a lot of eighteen year olds, nineteen yes. year olds. Oh, and truth is, like, you can you, you can you can you can do music production at any time in your life. There's or someone, just fail. Ah, you wish yes. your parents could fix now. You okay, see, but did I graduate or did I not graduate? Did I finish or did I not finish? It's just a matter of what I finish with. <laughs> <laughs> I finished now. Fail. Let me tell you something. If you believe in your music, fail. Fail. So you know They're that, okay. Music. Because if you're not fail, you are a time failure. Please don't listen to me. You are a failure. Oh, then you'll be a nothing in your life. You are a failure. Please don't listen to me. No. Fail. <laughs> Trust me, because let me tell you something. Eh? Let me tell you something. If right, it fails in quantity survey, right? Mm. In quantity mm-hmm. survey, 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 no, survey, okay. survey, survey. Yeah, if it yeah. fails there, you know, he will take the music seriously, right? <laughs> if he now fails in the music, you'll know that uh, I need to patch it. You don't do, <laughs> but you know, yeah. But I, I just feel like if you are not going to do anything with the quantity survey, man, what are you not going to? do? What have I used my degree to do? Does anybody <laughs> sure. know whether I failed or I passed? This guy can have a fist end up a bank. <laughs> what did you do? Which course did you study? I better you better say. Which course did you study? I'm not a genius. I'm doing a quantity survey. Yeah, that geophysics. I don't have hope. Oh, yeah, that's ship work. You don't get choice. Unless you don't teach. <laughs> In this Nigeria, <laughs> you go to the school where you teach for NYC, you go to school where you teach for NYC. How old did you study? My God. Me. How old did you study? Oh, ah. me, I studied this, you know. I first studied um, journalism and communication, and then I went for marketing. Please. I mean, constantly survey your. Just don't ask me if I fail or not. colleague, see, constantly survey your. As person, as somebody that did geophysics, I don't say our course, no, you know. I don't say our course, it did different, it did unique. Ah, land, man. You can't want to like camera, they go measure the land. The boy don't tire. The boy, he don't tire nothing for for sure that's too much. He said, I don't do it again. How many square meters? Fuck this shit. My God. 
please, if you are studying courses of your geophysics, any <laughs> word course, please don't allow our and Isaac put no, you down. No, no, no. But, but, but in reality, it, it, in Nigeria, it's just, it, it's the point, the point is he does not want to study that. He does not measure square feet again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want, I want to produce songs. So, look, and the thing is that you will probably not even fail at it because if you, if you now fail, you know what's worse than mm. an upcoming musician? He failed to communicate. <laughs> <laughs> people not see you and say, yeah, it's not that boy that failed. So he will take it seriously. He will not fail at it. Please, I want to give you a contrary opinion to advise advice to okay, concord this I want to use our story. Our finished our degree, finished everything first to before yeah, you try to. So, so I you think you should, you should be serious with school. Actually. You don't have to do finish. master. Just finish your BSc first. And let's Even see our finish. finished masters first. Uh, <laughs> and you want to listen to her? I want to listen to her. Like you say, uh, say you should fail. Please don't listen to our. You know music. There's a lot of money in music. Mm, yes, no. There's money in quantities of it. <laughs> You go measure. Why you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you know go measure? <laughs> I, there is money in it, but compared to the money that is in music, ah, money is money is in musical. Yeah. I just don't want to talk about that. My cousin that, that went into music. Then yeah, what happened to Just say come. Mm, what okay, happened? Fine. <laughs> just tell us. You, you, no, you but I actually cannot. I actually cannot this say. This is this. what happened. You, be, you <laughs> think you ask this? This what they they were actually really text my daddy. <laughs> No, but but to be honest, like you just have to take a chance on what you believe in. Sometimes, mm. sometimes you have to really take a chance. But like but you said, you're in five hundred level. Yeah, yeah, last one. Just yeah, finish just up, finish. Man. You know, just just finish. And when I say fail, I don't mean like flunk out, obviously. But just just finish, yeah. right? Because even if you finish the first class, it's not interested. Yeah, right? but it's better to finish the first class. Man. Yes, boy no. that is standing in 500 level that so is not interested you think if the music it's fails, first class is coming out if the music fails you have a higher chance you, now. you go go back if you go for a scholarship go do you because in Nigeria what do you want to do no, no, don't if, listen if, to if me don't listen to me if podcast I will go back my job this is serious now Damiari this is serious what just physics do you say oh, I don't even forget <laughs> you're not serious you're not serious but yeah I was going to ask you how yeah you mentioned you grew up in motion. Yes. Did that affect those your stories? Like that you mad. Tell? So those stories were like, I won't say real, but like, like they mad. had elements of truth in them. Like mad. <laughs> like mad. <laughs> if you look closely at my neck, you see a scar. Mm. <laughs> if you look closely at my neck. We, I see. You see a scar. Emotion. <laughs> Don't scare me. Be serious. Gangs of, I'm not even joking. So I'm, gangs of, gangs of to, I'm just. <laughs> Wait, are you actually serious? I see, can you see the scar? You cannot see the scar. I'm seeing the scar. I think the best mark. Is it so, gangs of Lagos? Best mark. Are you there, boy? Best mark. Scar is best mark. No, I'm just saying. But basically, what I'm, what I'm just trying to say is that yes, uh, the these stories. Yeah, the story. It's even very. It heavily influences my, like, even my content as a whole. Because mm. I grew up, I was born in Moshi. I grew up in Moshi. Yeah. I lived in a family house. Face me, I face you. Mm-hmm. So many families. Just stuff is just going down mm. at, you know, at different points. So it was a really, really chaotic childhood. And I yeah. loved every bit of it. Of course, like, my parents it shaped left you for me. who you are now. Exactly. And I loved, ah, gosh, I loved it so much. Mm. I loved, ah, the trenches, trenches can be sweet, though. Yes, <laughs> can be really sweet. Yeah. I mean, I'm seeing the trenches. <laughs> but... Stop, stop no, it now. No, no, no. Uh, uh, Do you want to tell them uh, the color that I'm brushing? You don't know the right fictional know. story for uh, you. Uh, uh, you, know, you, like... you know, you give us fiction. <laughs> Nigeria's first professional first born doctor. Trenches. My Jeez. people. We look up to you. You know, if you... you the drive you. that brought me, I negotiated it like mad. <laughs> <laughs> they would just be cancel my... Do you know how you drive cancel this, my... This is not the road road that brought you. Why are you doing that? She's thing? lying. No, Prado. 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 Everywhere. Prado. You see, they are not giving you different lying. cars. That's how you know they are lying. <laughs> Liars. For this podcast. Is it, is it in drive road drives? <laughs> Please, let's <go> Prado. <laughs> well, yeah, like, obviously, you obviously shaped you yes. how you grew up. Yes. And, you know, growing up in Mushi and all of that stuff, it takes it takes me back to this question of there are so many people now that like they use their circumstances to you know become who they are. So like, do you feel like some of these your stories or or the way you grew up actually like affects you know you just had to make it in the content writing space and it just yeah. helped you be content as well. Do you understand? Do you think that how you grew up actually helped you? 
help me be help me with my content. Help you with your content and help you just shape your work ethics. Yeah. Okay. As, yes, as, as definitely. Well. Definitely. Ah, no, 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 definitely. I, I. Ah, gosh, I've worked so much in this life, <laughs> but I, I've experienced not having stuff, mm. even though my parents really tried to. Um, provide for us and they did provide for us yeah. but it's just that you can tell when oh there's not enough money for something yeah. Yeah. and you can tell when you know how they'll tell you that Nigerian parents they are not making probably they are not making more than 50k but that school yeah. you go to yeah. that school yeah. they, they'll find a way to put you in that maybe private school or mm. something so so yes um, definitely I, I don't come from having a lot yeah. um, but I I will definitely say that I've also experienced some sort of privilege. Mm. I will not be shy to say that, but I've also experienced I've experienced hunger. <laughs> so it it has helped me realize that I don't have anybody but God and myself. Mm. So every time I'm working, I'm like on the road. I'm editing. I'm working, and I also know that it when is, she came here, she was talking about editing videos. Like she was literally like working as she was coming. Yeah, because so like, I was. Yeah, so because also you have some opportunities, you can't waste it. Mm. The opportunity that I have now is that I've been doing this for such a long time, and people have actually started to say, Okay, let's listen to this girl. What does she have to say? We've been going on since like 2015, 2014 on Twitter. Yes, so I've been no on to on tw- yes, I've been on Twitter for a long time, but I just popped on Twitter, I think, during the um, lockdown, NSAS, yeah, yeah, lockdown yeah. And all of that. So, yes, so. Um, but I'm, but I know that this is an opportunity, and I don't want to waste it. So yeah. yes, I'm always really like, okay, what can we do? I, mm. No, I, I don't waste it all more. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm coming from a really bad place. <laughs> you don't want to Can't go back, back there. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's, there's something I, I want to ask. Um, there's something I always like to ask influencers yeah. and celebs and all that. Like, yeah. you're a celeb now. What okay, do you no, don't worry, don't worry. At what point did you know, like, okay? I'm gone. Like I don't blue. I don't blue. Like See, fuck. Like you always have one money. Just woke they up. They don't see me for bullshit like, again. Uh, like fuck. It's up from here. I'm international. No, I don't think I've experienced that yet. So I you, genuinely, so, I'm not even joking. So you've not had any milestone. Is it mentality? Is this motivational speaker? Yeah, you're no, to do. no, no. I'm not even trying to do motivational speaker. I just think that. Because people see that, oh, you have these many followers. And I'm very grateful for the followers. I'm very yeah. grateful for the community I have. But they will say, oh, you have this many followers, so you must be really popping. Like, yeah. oh, you have blown. But you haven't. Hmm. Like, you actually haven't. Like, I'll be going out, out of my estate to buy Pepe. And someone will be like, ah, where are you going? Ah, why are you yeah. walking? Road? I don't have a car. I'm walking. Like, the Mara that takes me from my estate gates to my house is like 500 now. I'll say, no, I'll walk. Right? And it's not because I don't have that 500 now. Obviously, I have 500 now to enter Amara. But I like walking. But I'm just saying that I have not really... Like, there are some points you get to, you'll be like, oh, if you're asking, oh, what point did you get to that you're like, okay, I'm starting to get recognized. I think this content, people are starting, mm. are, are starting to listen to me. Yeah. It's probably when I got the uh, my future awards, yeah. future Africa awards yeah. prize. But that was when I was like, okay... This is validation. But if you ask me, at one point, do you think, oh, you are blown? I'm a big girl, no? I'm not blown, no, my dear. If I blow, you will know. <laughs> I'm not wearing much. <laughs> if I blow, no, you know. I'm just grateful for the platform that I have and the community that I've built over time. I think this also just makes me see your mentality as somebody that, you know, feel like the world is still there for you to conquer. And ah. I... I admire it yeah. a lot, and I say like, yeah. like I said, like I said at the beginning, you're yeah, an inspiration for we last ones. <laughs> but yeah, like it just shows your mentality because obviously, yeah, obviously at the level that you know, if some people, some people pray for your level, you understand. <laughs> some people, your level yeah. is some people's, <laughs> so your level is some people's goal and ambition. Yeah. And when understand? they get there. They'll realize, realize they, will, yeah. they will feel it as well. Yeah. They will know that ah, you have not started, though. See, 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 food for thought, word for wisdom for my You don't want to be a motivational speaker, but that's what you've done. <laughs> so, obviously, like, one thing that I've known about your content is that you don't like relationship people at all. I don't know why, I don't know what you have against relationship people. But we're yet to actually ask you, what you have, what's, what's your problem with relationship people? Why? <clears throat> okay, what can you ask me for? Oh, uh, hey, is that break? Is that break? I will not even lie. Is that break? So every time I see those people, I'm like, 
<laughs> <laughs> the yes, like, <laughs> I love love though. I love love, but it's just that Nigeria. What did you do during that break? What did you What did you do during your heartbreak? During my heartbreak, yeah, mm. created content like a bastard. <laughs> now motivate, now motivate, <laughs> bastard motivation. I created content. <laughs> but, but was it like you're were you creating content to be like um. I'll be in this guy's face by full by No, not even that I'll be in this guy. I was just, it's all, you know, no, it's not even, it's just me feeling sorry for myself. You know, there's some kind of, like, mm. they should call you now. Oh, I saw your ex in Monaco. Ah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's just, I think that whatever happens to you, you can just find something out of it and tell a story. And that's what, so whenever things happen to me, if I get my heart broken, if I get into a new relationship, anything that happens to me really, you I celebrate just... with working. Yes, I celebrate with working. Let the money enter my account. If I'm this thing, if I'm down, at mm. least let me have money. Mm. Do you get? Mm. So food for thought to invent our. So our just on this relationship talk. If you found out your partner had has a burner account and didn't add you, how will you feel? Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know what's what's when I ask you your burner account to drag me. <laughs> ah, that's the worst. Oh, wait, they're dragging your bona, you bona now to retweet it. It's not liking. <laughs> it's a like when you get yourself. No. If you have a burner account, for you to have a burner account and not add me, then there must be something you're hiding. And mm. I'll just we, be. We'll tell you that oh, well, my wife was the vex with today. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? If you have a burner account, you're using it to let out frustration. Yeah. yeah. I sort of understand that. I'm not even straight, but for you. <laughs> But you feel bad, like, oh, why well, can't this person talk, talk to me about his I've, issues? Yeah. No. Are you serious? No, have your time because have I'm coming you, Have with you no opened problem. Bona account and, and just, you know, talked about your partner? Like, have you, and not had your partner? No, I have a Bona account, but mm. it's not for me to talk about my partner. Mm. Sometimes with frustration. I don't even know. What do you think about people that have Bona accounts to be ranting about their partners? Ah. Better just leave the relationship. <laughs> why are you in that? Why are you in let, bondage? Let me, let me cast myself for a bit. So, in one of my past relationships, <laughs> I had a bonus account. Guy, Instagram is so stupid. They know it's my bonus account. <laughs> so, just said for you. <laughs> my babe now saw it. And the, 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 um, Avi for the, this thing. The, 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 the. No, 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 no. Guy. No, that's terrible. I, I hope no she left you. you. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> she uh, left you, Abby. Uh, 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 no, but we're already going through a tough time. So, now, why are you get on account? <laughs> Instagram, right? I was going to Instagram on show now. So, just that for you. You know, see, ah, uh, ah. Uh, my boyfriend be this. It was, my it was, God, it was that's, crazy. That's man. crazy. Bro, I hear on Twitter like, People will be using burner accounts to be retweeting their babes like that. They <laughs> <laughs> are dragging your babes. They are using your burner account to retweet. <laughs> you feel who quotes it? You know what? You're you such a coward. <laughs> because she must be showing you shit again. Be like, what? switch. <laughs> switch. <laughs> let me go and talk about my wife. Let me, let me actually say what's going on. Pop, pop, pop. Ah, no, 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 to be no, fair, I'm, I'm actually not surprised people do that because on a normal day, like, there are men that don't like to go straight home from work. They just go to one bar and gossip their wives to their friends while uh-huh. they're drinking. Me, I'm in support of just leaving the marriage, the relationship. Just leave for your peace of mind. Like, why are you, why are you like But there's ah. some tough times. Like, maybe you just need space, individuality. That's why I said that I will not be angry if you are going there to, like, rant and all of that because sometimes you need your space. Yeah. But if it's that like you are using that account to retweet my drag, <laughs> they, they so all drag me like this girl, she not to... If uh, all of Lagos entire you just say, see space, see space. You not, you not retweet calm. <laughs> no, we're going to have a problem. Someone will say, ah, this girl not too bright. You retweet it. Then... <laughs> your girlfriend is not bright. <laughs> well, if you find out your boyfriend was something, like, what will you do? I will leave, oh. You will leave. Is that, is, that a, is that a red flag for you? Yes, it's a red a flag, breaker? of course. Because you hate me. Fact. Yeah, fact. You fact. actually so, hate, me. hate me. Not even look. Uh, well, maybe let's yeah, even say look because looking. you are hiding. But you hate me. It will come to a point where you don't want to hide. Or you forget yourself and forget that you're not on your burner account anymore. Mm. Or you forget. No, you hate me. If, if, that's, if I annoy you that much, just leave. Just mm. leave me. Just leave me. I'll send boys after you, yes. You'll call it a little bit in yes. Just, you know, exit the relationship. Have you ever been in a relationship where, like, 
you just get tired of your partner. Like, well, obviously, like you love them, but obviously, like just frustration and you just get tired. At I'm that such moment. a lover, girl. Oh. I never get that's my that's my uh-huh. problem. That's if why, I, that's once I'm in a relationship, so that's why I hate that's me. That's why the advocate sounds I hate it about myself. Why, I'm why, such why, a lover. Well, well, you don't shake me, not be you open border account. I wanted to be on the wrong team. For a minute. But I'm, no, I'm such a lover girl. I, when, I, when I'm with someone, I don't see any other person. That's why you break up used to hit me. Aww. Maybe try seeing other people next time so they won't break up. They won't Which break kind up. Of try open Just relationship. Just try open relationship. <laughs> try. Back to the beginning. <laughs> try open relationship. <laughs> open it a little bit. Try open relationship. <laughs> yeah, but, but back to you though. What, what's, um, what's something that you, you find difficult in um, being you? Or in being a content creator? Um, so one thing I find difficult about being a content creator is the fact that you you are living your life in front of people and you make mistakes. And um, unfortunately, people mm. are not kind to people mm. that are that put their lives out there that are creating mm. content. Like nobody People are, people are always out to get you. People yeah, are always out to get you. Everyone. Because there's no way you say you are creating content, you will not do something wrong at some point. Mm-hmm. You definitely speak out of turn. No, there are people that don't have sense. <laughs> there are people that don't have sense. They yeah. always say a- anything to get them the clout, they'll say it. But once in a while, we all make mistakes. But yeah. unfortunately, but... as a content creator, once you say something, people just pile on you, all of that. And you have to you have to develop such a thick skin. So yeah. I think that's one part that you know I'm finding difficult. God, that's why I'm always very careful, especially as a Muslim as well. Mm. Exactly. Um, so I'm always very careful with religion, tribe, all of this conversation. The only mm. thing I would never shift on is feminism. Mm. I would never should. shift on that. Well, I, will, <laughs> I will never shift should. on that. When but yeah, but that's 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 what I find difficult about. Mm. Yeah, people, like saying no matter what you do, you're always going to have it as well. Like, mm. like, like true, do you mean, understand? So just live your life, and true. like you, you can't live out of character. You, you be a wow, wow. I, <laughs> the I funny know, thing right? is that Omo, you're actually your videos. I can't even like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you're you're the same person. It's <laughs> yeah, actually really interesting. And it just means yeah. I've, I've I've actually met like content influencers, celebrities that like. It's just obvious that they always put a persona on their social media. Like, mm. they're different people. Yeah. Some of them can be for a better, some of them can yeah. be for worse. But it's just obvious that people put on character, put on a mask, a facade mm. when they're like outside on, on social media. And I don't know how they do this, man. Like, it's tough. And like you said, you can't act in different characters. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. I you. think it's actually be easier being yourself. The only problem is, like she said, like a lot of people are going to be watching. And criticizing, criticizing you. you, yeah, but it's actually good. So, uh, thank you so much for coming on this episode. And thank you so much for as the last one, you've inspired me so you've inspired much. Inspired me you've every time you say last one, my chest tight. <laughs> 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 our, our account number is in your account, those yes, those and your brothers, too. That's your younger brothers. Those I, 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 was, I, I was last one, I was last one. Be like today. <laughs> today. <laughs> I shall watch this and just, just take so. If <laughs> take. you ever say a lot from me, just hold your, just hold yourself. Be like, that's my kid. <laughs> because that's the only way. <laughs> but thank you so much, guys. This yeah. has been really, it has actually been fun. Ah, definitely. We, we hope fun. to have you again. <laughs> uh, you won't come. You won't come. You won't come. Come, 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 your, come, your, come, your dad. Come, your dad. The, the, I the, the, the newspaper story. story. Yeah, 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 see, our, our. Honestly, you guys, you guys are listening. Yeah, <laughs> go to our <laughs> comment and beg her for a dad's newspaper, newspaper, <laughs> and newspaper, and his babe with the newspaper. <laughs> beg for that story, please. <laughs> That story has potential. I don't yes, know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I want to know this. It might, be, it, might, it might be your dad's um, breaking Please, into content. Please bring <laughs> bring our phone. Let us call that. Like, that's 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 story. It might be his own breaking into content <laughs> content creation. Plot twist. I, I was that is the real brains. It's the real brains. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, actually so far. Well, yeah, bye right. guys. Thank you so much, you guys. So subscribe, much. subscribe, follow us, yeah. like, read, tell your brother, tell your sister. <laughs> Shout out to Spotify Shout Studios. Shout out to Spotify. Yes, 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 yes. Our, we'll be expecting your own podcast on storytelling. The idea I come, it came here first. To, so when you see it. Yeah. When you see it. Yes. When you see it. One final question. I'm so sorry. Do you have, um going forward, like, you know, you moved from writing then visual. Like, is there any other, other plans for any other thing? Yeah, so I want to definitely do more script writing, film, also. Yeah like youtube videos like i just have a lot of things that i would like to do mm. and 
what's the I don't have husband, I don't have child. Yeah. Might as well just experiment yeah. with everything yeah. and I have a community. You just do like a YouTube movie type. So no, I don't know if movies on Netflix, you also write for Netflix straight up. Do you get the bag? Do you get the bag? Give me Rolo. Okay. <laughs> get the if, bag. You know, bag that you hang like this. You be like, ha, your ha. bag will be pain. You know, I ah, no, no, no. Hey, man. Ah, shall we deserve to live less? Mm, ah, when, when God go do him and ah, just give me, give me a roll. You. Guess what I'm going to do? No, okay. Guess what I'm going to do? S, S, S. I wish you'd have SDP, SDP. You know, I live a political partner. When we become president, don't worry. We'll ban all of you. Ban all of you. I go be your PA now. I'll first ban first bonds. Your sister, you know your sister, no, they did. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you guys next week. Bye, guys.